In this vlog, we'll try to get start with React Native and in previous tutorial, we have seen how to make the first React Native application using Firebase Studio. But in this part of the tutorial, I would like to make a local setup so that it would be much faster and better way. So now, let's get started with the React Native. This is the official website of React Native and here you have got the complete documentation and how to get start with here. I hope you are familiar with React Native and for the freshers, I'm trying to address this. So the, using React Native, you can create native apps for Android iOS. Now let's try to get started with and here in this particular tutorial, I have clearly explained you how to make React Native application in two ways like using native CLI or using Expo. So here. We are trying to make use of React Native applications using Expo so that it is much easier way to get started with React Native applications. And in this particular tutorial, I have clearly outlined the differences and I suggest you to get started with this particular tutorial because there you get a lot of basics regarding the React Native that would be very much helpful from this particular tutorial. Let us try to continue with the expo and I suggest you to go through this particular documentation and it is easily understandable documentation which makes you get started with the application creation. So you need to download the expo application from Android Play Store or iOS App Store there you can find the expo application and once you download that particular application or simply you can scan this particular QR code to go to that particular page and from there you can just download it based on your platform and the next step is creating the project so let's try creating the project on our local system and before getting any further, I just want to have an IDE which is an environment where you can code. So I would prefer VS Code for this. So let's quickly download the VS Code and here I am running this on Mac OS. And even though if you are having Windows or Linux, you can get started with the React Native applications and you can run on Android. And also you need to install Android Studio to get the emulators on your device. And if you are using Macbook, then Xcode is also required for running the iOS applications. So here is the website for Node.js and now we are trying to download the Node.js for our Mac OS. And these are the two requirements. The first is the IDE and here I am choosing VS Code. And you can choose a different IDE as well. And here the Node.js is also a requirement for creating the React Native applications. So now we are trying to install the Node.js here and go through this particular license agreement and then tap on continue and agree the license. And also I am choosing the I am choosing the default path it is suggesting. And yes, my Node.js is now installed and I'm deleting the file. And now let's quickly go to the terminal and try installing Expo now. Here I'm just trying to redirect to a particular folder. And in that particular folder, I'm going to create our first React Native application. So here I have redirected to this particular folder. And now let's try creating our first Expo project in this particular folder. So here again there are two ways of creating the project like using npm and npx. So when you use npm right it creates globally I mean it creates the expo app globally it gets all the required packages you need to manually update the latest packages and when you try creating with npx right so here you get the packages dynamically you use it and this is recommended for the new projects. So I'm trying to create using npx here and this doesn't require a global installation kind of thing. So it always gives you a latest version. So let's try creating a project using npx here. So expo app and here you can just give your app name. So my first app. 
so i'm just trying to give it in a way like my first app and let's try creating this particular project and here you can see and here you have got two suggestions like npx create expo app out of template or here from the available examples and but we tried creating it like a default application and here now let us try to see and here is our react native application and this is what the application which we just tried creating it and in our previous tutorial as well we did the same but we did it in the firebase studio so i hope this is very clear for you so till now we have just tried configuring the react native on our local machine so now let's try running this particular project once to verify whether everything is fine so npx expo start so this is the command to start the expose metro bundler and here it had provided us the options like on which particular platform you want to run so here we have got our android emulator up and running and i am trying to use the android to run our project now so here you can see it is now downloading the expo go app and within seconds you can see our expo app is now installed on the emulator and on over which we can see our react native application so here i am just trying to allow it and this is our first application which is now getting installed in the similar way we'll try to quickly run the ios app as well and try to close this tutorial with this particular information so this is our first app and simulator let's try to open the simulator as well and now try to run the same code on the ios simulator as well so here i am selecting the i command and now let us try to compare both the versions here of the react native application so here we go expo application is now installed on our ios simulator as well and here you can see the same application now getting loaded on ios device as well so i hope uh, this is very clear for you to get started with the react native applications and just let me know in the comment section below if you are facing any issues we'll try to fix them quickly and yes the next tutorial on flutter will be available soon on the channel and going forward we'll try to add react native tutorials as well every now and then so this is it for this particular tutorial and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content